Okay, guys, we're starting in less than three minutes. Welcome to those of you that are here. I see Kristen, Resh, Gordon, Mandy, Galit, Kat, and iPad. <laughs> um, those of you that are logged on, if you want to be visible, it's a lot more fun when we can see each other. Um, you could go down to the bottom left of your screen and click on start recording. And I know some computers don't allow it, but most of them do. Um, it's a lot more fun. You don't have to if you're shy. Don't worry about it. Um, all of you are muted. And that means that I won't be able to hear you. So you could type a chat. And sometimes I don't see those till the end of class, but um, that's an option as well. Kind of class today is strength. So just basic lifting of weights, squats, lunges, things like that. Listen to your own body, especially if you've been away from working out for a little bit. Um, be prepared to stop, walk it off, or do whatever you need to do to keep it safe. Safety is the first priority. We'll be working out mostly at 45 seconds on and then 15 seconds rest in between moves. Um, mostly kind of a superset. So we'll take opposing muscle groups and do one and then the other. And then some modification on that. I don't know if I said it, my name is Melanie, for those of you that I don't already know. Super glad to have you guys here today. Um, so for those who just logged in, we are on weights, a mat and a water bottle. If you don't own weights, you can modify with something else like a book or a soup can, or if you have tubing, you can try to work with that. Um, I am not able to put on music because of copyright issues. So if you like to have music, turn on your own music and just keep it low enough that you can still hear the cues that I give you. Um, I wanted to thank my husband. He always helps set up the camera for me. So I wanna always thank him for the tech support on that. And uh, I also teach on Monday mornings, so I hope I see some of you then. Um, we better get started. Well, it looks like we still have about one minute. We got one more person who just logged in. Hi, Kendra. Welcome. Today we're just doing weights and a mat and a water bottle. Uh, again, everybody listen to your body, even as I'm trying to push you through this workout. My name is Melanie, for those of you that I don't already know. And uh, let's get going. So I'm going to start out for just a little bit without having any weights, just to get our blood flowing, and then we'll start picking the weights up. So what I'd like to do is first just do a little twist and push, twist and push. Now what I want you to be doing here is warming up that midsection of your body. So I want you to feel the stretch in your back and the tightening in your belly. So what I want you to do there is not only suck your belly in, but also squeeze your glutes in each time you push. Starting now, swim it, pull back, push against water, pull. Four more, three. Now pull toward it in the water, pull. So you're using your belly to pull your arms toward it. Just one more, four, three, two, and one. Reach overhead. So I might not have gotten to say it to everybody because some, some people just logged in. You can be visible if you want to on this by going to the bottom left of your screen and clicking on start video. All right, pull your arm up, pull, pull, instead of pushing now. One more, four, three, two. We're gonna make this a simple twist. Just turn, turn. It's a full twist in your core. Four, three. We're gonna add tapping our hand or our heel behind. Pull, pull, tap. Four more, four, three, two. Keep the same pace, but knee up, knee up. As high as you can, each time exhaling, so that you're using your belly to get your knee higher than the belt line. Four, three, we're gonna take it to bum kick, same pace, slow. Now, you wanna get some core added to this? Swing your arms up with each one of these. So that means you're gonna go a little slower. Each time, pulling your belly toward that foot behind you, towards your spine. Eight, seven, six, belly in, five, Straight elbows, three, two, same thing, reverse lunge, same arms up, reverse lunge, one up, reverse lunge, one up, down. Your body stands tall, your straight elbows are reaching up and behind you, three, two, last one, take feet side by side, we're going to squat, drop your bum down, come on up. Welcome to those who just logged in. Come on up, just join us. We're still warming up. Think about getting that bum way back behind you. Enough that your weight is in the heels and not in the toes or the balls of your feet. And down. 
What that does is it keeps your knees back and takes the pressure out of your knees. Keeps them lasting for years to come. Three. Remember this form too. And one for later when we might have weights to do the exact same thing. How about pick up two weights now? Again, if you don't have weights, an option might be something like water bottles filled with water. They're not that heavy, but they're something in that 45 seconds of repetition, you might still feel it. All right, take those weights to your shoulder. We're still in warm up mode. I'm not even putting on the timer yet. We're just going to get some more form. So we just did squats without weights. Take it down. Come on up. At the top, squeeze your glutes as you push up and bring it down. Down and up. Push up. Bring it down. Squat. Down. Bone behind you. Weight in the heels. Down and up. So what if you don't like overhead press? Some people feel that in their shoulders in a way that doesn't feel good. Maybe an option is drop the weights. Another option might be to turn the hands differently inward instead of turning them forward. Another option is to not do it and just do the squats. Last one. Down. Up. Up. And down. Let's kick those weights down by our side. Feet are hip width apart. And we're just going to practice some deadlifts. You're going to um, soften your knees, but keep them kind of straight, just soft. And drop those weights down your leg. And stand up by squeezing your glutes. So I'm going to turn sideways. I want you to think about the form on this leg when we're doing these today, especially as we do them more later. The back is straight. The shoulder blades are pulled toward each other. So I do not want to see this. A curve of the back. I want to see a straight back and a coming up. Coming up. Just a few more. Now, while you're doing this, pull that belly into the spine to support it. And on the up, squeeze the glutes. Last one. Down and up. Stop in here. Weights right where they are. Upward row. Take it down. We're just finishing up the warm up, letting our body know that we're going to be using weights, but doing simple, simple moves for so far. Up. And down, up, and down. Now I'm not taking my elbows any higher than my shoulders. That protects your shoulders from getting impingement on the insides, the little tiny parts of your shoulder inside. So stop here. If we're in an upward row, you need a little more. Go up and then pull back a little bit and forward and down, rather than up higher than the shoulders. Let's do three more. Three, and down. two, and down, one. Set them down, let's stretch out real quick. Get ready to get going on the class. Hand on top of the quads. Inhale the flat back. Exhale, arch the back. Back to usual with the flat back. And we're going to drop one shoulder down and twist away. Center it out, other way. Center it out and roll it up. Give you a shoulder roll at the top. Make it an elbow roll. Full arm. Pass those hands together at the back, press them down, and then lift them up with an inhale. On the exhale, lower the hands and take your head to the side, pulling your belly back to your spine, head the other way. Good. Center it out, head forward. Nice. Inhale up. Maybe you can grab a sip of water, exhale it away. Grab a sip of water before we get started on our first set of moves. We're going to start with some supersets of squats with deadlifts. So we've got two weights. The very first move is all squats. So just follow along as we do that. The second move is going to be a form of deadlifts. So I'll talk you through it as we go because we've got 15 seconds in between for me to do all the talking. All right, we're going to start in five seconds with simple squats. The first set, I want your legs pretty narrow. They don't have to be touching, real close, closer than you might be used to when you're dropping down and coming up. We've got five seconds. Four, three, two, narrow squat. Take it down and up. It should feel really a little different than you're used to. We're used to a little bit wider squats. We'll go there too. And up. You're holding your weights like they were suitcases. And up. But like those warm ups, think about keeping the weight in the heels and not in the balls of the feet. Three, two, take it to the width you might be more used to, about shoulder width. Down and up. Down. And up, still bum way back behind you. Always belly to your spine, supporting it like a weight belt. Two, 
and one. Now even wider. Take the knees out to the side. You only have eight more seconds of these squats. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. You can get into your comfortable shoulder width. We're going to take our hands in front. We're going to do a deadlift like we did for warm up. Coming up and then an upward row, combining the two warm up moves that we did in three seconds. Two, and one. Give me that deadlift. Reach down, come on up, upward row, and down. Belly to spine, always supporting that spine. Upward row, down. Deadlift, squeeze the glutes for the up, upward row, down. One third of the way down. Up, up, and down. Belly to spine, up and down. 20 seconds to go, keep it up. Remember to squeeze those glutes on the up. Remember to push the belly to the spine the entire time. Up and down, down, up. We're gonna end up setting one of these weights down for the next move. Five, three, two, finish this one, and one. Quickly setting one weight down. We're going back to the squats. You're going to step out from narrow to a squat, dropping the arm down and coming up. Switch hands, step, press up in three, two, one. Step down, spring it up, step down. What if you don't like the arm move? I'm focusing on squats for this block of our workout. So if you don't like the arm move, skip it. You can just hang the weight down. If you're looking for simple, this just adds a little bit of arm. Also gets the heart rate up a little bit more. You're halfway there. Stand up. Then we'll go back to another form of deadlift. And down. Stand up. Remember your form in the squat. Thumb behind you. Weight in the heels. Belly to spine. Only eight seconds. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Give me one more. One. Reach it up. Back to two weights. This one's gonna be a one-legged deadlift. So I'm gonna turn sideways for you to see it. One-legged deadlift. So you look like a stick floating in the air. A row and come up. In three, two, go. I've got my right leg up, row. Down, come up. I'm switching left leg now. Left leg up, row. Down, come up. Right leg up, row. Down, come up. So you wanna feel like you're trying to touch your elbows behind your back together. They can never go there. That's just the direction they're pulling. You're halfway on. Come on up. Suck that belly to spine. If this makes you wobbly, one, you can embrace the wobble and know that it's great to have that brain exercise. The other is you could choose to tap that back foot down. Seven seconds. And up. Three, two, and one. Okay, now we're going to combine the squats we've been doing with the deadlifts we've been doing. One squat, one deadlift, alternating. You've got eight seconds. It'll look like this. With the weights at the shoulders, squat, up, and deadlift. Join me right now. Squat, up, lower the hands, deadlift. Come on up, swing them back up to the shoulders. Down, up, and up. Remember that belly to spine. Just because we're focusing on legs, know that every single move you ever do uses your belly. If you're sipping tea and you want to pick your pinky up off that teacup, suck your belly in with it. 20 seconds to go. Down, up, bring it up. After this, I'm going to have a sip of water. 10 more seconds of this. Bone way back. And down, up. Just five seconds. Down. Up, I think I'm going to ask you for one more full set here. One more squat. Take it up. Last deadlift. Bring it up. Good. You can set those weights down. If you need to stretch anything out, twist anything out, that's yours to do. You got time to get a quick sip of water. Hopefully, that got your body feeling like it's done getting warmed up as well. Those are some of your biggest muscle groups to get us started today. We're going to go into some chest presses. I'm going to stick with the two weights that I've got. I actually only have two main weights. So sometimes I might have chosen heavier or lighter today. And I'm working with what I have. At one point, I'll be doing much lighter, and I'll be using a very, very much lighter weight 
But for now, I'm using these, these same ones for every exercise. Lying on our backs. Arms up, put the two weights, palms forward. We're just gonna lower and raise. What I want you to think about for the starters is on the raise, I want you to come up quick and take at least two counts to come back down because you get stronger on the down. We're starting at six. Five, four, three, two, one. Take it up, come on down a little slower. Take it up, come on down slower. That's called the eccentric part of your exercise. The time when you're coming down from anything that you lifted. The lengthening of your muscles. That's the time that you actually gain the most strength. Or if you're ever sore after an exercise, it's because of what you did during those eccentric phases. So we want to focus on those here so we get stronger. So a little slower on the down. All right, join me right now at the top. Take the palms together, and now instead we're going to open out to a fly. So it's kind of like hugging a narrow beach ball and opening up to a real big fat beach ball. Bring it up and out. This whole time, be pressing that belly down toward the floor. Keep it up. Three, two, and one. Good. Stand up with just one of those weights. We're going to put one elbow on top of another quad. Palm back toward the back foot. And the elbow is going to lift out to the outside. Join me right away. We're there. Up and down. I call these horizontal rows because you're pulling horizontally, unlike the rows that most people are used to, where you pull with your palm in. This one is the opposite movement to a push-up. Which means we're going to have to make sure to get push-ups in later today, some of it as well. You're halfway through. We're going to stick with this arm through this whole set. The elbow's out. The palm is back. We've already gotten some of the regular rows today. We'll get more. we got 10 more seconds of this one. Six. Four. Two. Give me one more full row. One. Set it down. We're going to take it down to the belly. Superman push-ups. Remember I mentioned that the push-ups are the opposite of those horizontal rows. So we're going to start in plank position. You're going to take a negative push-up all the way to the mat. Lift up like Superman and then get up however you need to. You can put knees down for the get up if you want. Join me all the way down. Lift the hands. Push all the way back up. You can go up like a push-up or you can just Go easier up on the push-up if the up is too hard. That's okay. The down is that eccentric we talked about. That's when you're getting stronger, if this slow all the way down. We call those negatives or eccentrics. You have 15 more seconds. When you're in that plank or in that push-up, make sure you're squeezing your glute. That will add core and stability. This is the last one. Three, two, Superman, take it up. Quickly, get up. Grab the other one other, go one way. We're going to do the other side on those horizontal rows. You got six seconds. One elbow on top of the opposite quad. Palm back toward the back foot and lift up. Elbows to the outside. I'm going to turn so you can see that my elbows like a push up. It's out to the side. So just like the other moves, think about going up quick. A little slower on the down. Up quick. A little slower on the down. Maybe one count up, two counts on the down. And hold. Lengthen those muscles, not just dropping with gravity. You're more than halfway. Do use that elbow on your leg so that your back is totally protected and safe from strain. Ten seconds. You're going to pick up your other weight in four. And one, pick up that other way. Take a look what we're gonna do. You're gonna go, we're gonna combine both moves now. One, two, so you're going diagonally. You're using those same pecs as you did in the push-up. And then diving into this long lunge and doing both arms in that horizontal row. In three, two, go. Right arm, still right arm, right arm again. Dive into that deep lunge, horizontal row, both elbows out, come on up. Left arm, left. Same arm again, left. Dive into that deep lunge, horizontal row. Come on up, right arm. If you're not on my beat, I don't mind that. I'm just talking it through so you know the move because there's a bit here to memorize, right? Left. 
belly to spine, lift. Dive it down, elbows out, low, bring it up, right. You're getting the pecs, these are your push-up muscles. Take it down, it's just a different way to get those muscles. Take it up, left. This is the last set. Dive it down, row it, and come on up. Guess what, it's time for you to grab a sip again. You finish pecs and uh, rhomboids and traps, which is the opposite of your push-up muscles. We're going into some biceps and some triceps. Then I try to add in some other muscles as well, but those are the main focus. Two weights. First set simple. Since the last one was kind of a choreographed move, this one's from straight arms to halfway up. Straight arms to halfway up. Let's follow along. I'm going to start this in five seconds. Four, three, two. And I'm only coming up halfway, but I am straightening all the way. Glutes are tight. Low belly is pushed into your spine. Navel pushed right into your spine. And down. Don't worry, later we'll get to the full range of motion. Right now, I'm just wanting to make sure you strengthen the bottom half. Because a lot of people skip the bottom half when they're doing bicep curls. They only come halfway down. Three, two, we're doing the top half. Take it up, halfway down. Take it up. Still pulling that belly in. Maybe you feel that tug on the belly when the weight gets out in front of you. 10 more seconds. Eight. Three, two. We're going to triceps. That's the opposite muscle of your bicep. You're gonna re-find that form that you did for the horizontal row with the elbow up and you're gonna straighten and then straighten and then. You still got three seconds. Don't kill yourself. Two, one, let's go. Straighten. And now you want to stop at that straight level and hold it for a split second before you bend. Take it up, pause, and bend. Pause, and bend. Ten more seconds here, and we're going to quickly flip to the other arm. Up, and bend. Eight, three, two, last one. Switch to the other arm, other leg. Let's go. And then straighten all the way. So you're getting that beautiful muscle on the back of the arm. For some people, that's a trouble spot. This is probably the best way to reach it. Six seconds. We'll pick up that other weight and go back to biceps. Two and one. Good. Pick up your second weight. Heading back into the bicep world. We're going to do reverse lunges. And as we go down the reverse lunge, we're going to do a bicep curl. Yeah. Alternating legs. You've got three seconds. Two, one, let's go. Reverse lunge, bicep, come on up. Biceps, come on up. Now remember that full range of motion, straightening all the way at the bottom of your biceps. My weights aren't terribly heavy today, so that's not very hard to remember. Sometimes when people find their weights are too heavy, they kind of stop here, but that's because their biceps are getting so tired. And they're trying to transfer into their shoulders instead. 15 seconds. Let's try to get that full range of motion this time. 11. 8. 5. 3. 2. 1. We're going to go down on our backs. And we're going to throw darts. If you know what that is, line up. Otherwise, I'll talk you through it. Palms are facing each other. Maybe you move them an inch up further than your head, but from there, the elbows stay where they are. You bend them, and you straight like you're throwing darts. Let's go. Down and up. Down. Now, depending on what weight you have, maybe you'll be fine for 45 seconds. If it starts to get too much, because we don't have a huge selection, do we, at home? Not all of us. If it starts to get too much, an option is this. You can take one weight and bend and straighten. You have 15 seconds left, about. And up, and down, and up. Pulling that belly down toward the floor. Seven seconds, six, straighten. Four, three, two, finish it. One, stand it up with me. I'm keeping multiple legs with me. We're gonna combine the biceps and triceps for the last move of this block 
in eight seconds. My palms are facing each other. I'm gonna pull onto the bicep and put my weights together. Press up and do it over the head. Tricep extension and down. In three, two, go. Let's go bicep, up overhead, ribs back, tricep and down. Repeat it. Bicep, overhead, tricep, ribs together. If you wanna have a little more fun with it, bring a knee up when you're bringing the weights back down. Right here, I'm gonna pull a knee up. That just adds some core to it. Not required. You only have 15 seconds to go anyway. Again, and down. Bicep, up, tricep, up, and you're in a knee. Not required. This is the last one. Bicep, overhead, tricep, overhead, bring it down. You're done. Quick sip of water. You got biceps and triceps done as far as the official set, but we do revisit them a couple times today as well. Finally, coming. One way. It's going to look like this. Swing lunges. So before I even show you the arm, you're going to go reverse lunge with your right leg to front lunge with your right leg to reverse lunge with your right leg. Notice my left leg is planted and doesn't move. Once you get that, it's going to be reached down with the weight to overhead. Reach down to overhead. And we better get started in five seconds. So I have the weight in my right hand and I'm moving my right leg in four, three, two. I'm going reverse lunge, reach down. Now front lunge, reach up. Reverse lunge, reach down. Front lunge, reach up. I'm keeping my body tall though. I'm not hinging very much. And up. Heart rate might come up a little during this one because you're using all of your muscles. Hi, Shauna. She came and went. Keeping it up. 22 seconds. 20. That's 13 seconds. You're good. After that, you're going to stick with that one weight. Six, four, three, two, one. So we went front and back. You're going to go side. Wide, wide stance here. With that one weight, you're going to bend one leg a whole lot. Reach the arm back in front. Come up and then go the other way. In three, two, go. Side lunge, reach. Come on up. Other side, reach. Come on up. It's okay to pick up that outside toe if you want. Whatever feels right for you. I like to. Think about pulling the butt far back behind you. You're getting some inner thigh. You're getting shoulders on that front raise. You're getting quads, glutes. Of course, you're sucking your belly in, right? Get the core. 10 more seconds. We're going to go swing lunges on the other side. You already know the next move. Four, three, two, finish it. One, other side on those swing lunges. No jumping at all, and I still find myself breathing hard. It's a good time for us. Four seconds. Three, I'm starting with that reverse lunge, left side. Two, go. Reaching down. Front lunge, reaching up. Reverse lunge down. Front lunge up. My right leg's planted. Not moving it at all. If you need to tap in between for balance, that's okay. If you don't need to, that's even better. Because then you're using more core for balance. Halfway. That other arm, keep it where you want it. Keep it on your waist. I just kind of like it out there for balance. 15 seconds. We'll go back to those side lunges. Different kind though. Four. Let's do it with two weights when we come back. Two. Finish it. One. Two weights. In 10 seconds, you're going to step out. Side lunge. Come up together, lateral raise, leg lift. In three, two, let's go. Side lunge, step together, lateral raise. We're gonna do the same side. Out, together, lateral raise. Try to put your toes more down to the ground, not to the ceiling. 
and five to the other side. Two, finish this one, and one, other side. So now left lunge, come together, lift. Left lunge, if you don't like the arms. My focus here is the legs. I just add the arms, because we can. But don't if you don't want to. Five seconds. Four, three, two, finish it. And one, finish it. We're doing around the world lunges to combine them all together. Front lunge, side lunge, back lunge, right side. Then left, you got four seconds. Just hold the weights. Two, one. Right leg, front lunge, together. Side lunge, together. Reverse lunge, together. Let's go back to side. So front, side, back, side. Other leg, front, side, back. And side. Back to the right leg. Again, you go at your own pace. Side. Back. Side. Back to my left leg. Or wherever you are. Back. Side. I want you to hit a squat. Get down there and just hold it for five. Pulse it. Four. Three. Two. We didn't have time to do another set. And one, bring it up, grab a sip of water. Beautiful work. Lunge set's done. There will be more lunges though. You revisit. Shoulders and rotators coming up. So you just saw some lateral raises, but shoulders wasn't the focus of the last set. So we're gonna get some more lateral raises. We're gonna do, pretend I'm holding my weights. Upward row like we warmed up with, Lateral raise. Legs get to stay out of it for this first move. So let's get going in. Five, four, three, belly to spine, and one. Let's go, upward row, lower it down. Turn the palms in, lateral raise. Take them down, palms back, upward row. No higher than those shoulders, out. Same thing applies on the lateral raise. No higher than the shoulders. You don't want pinching inside your shoulder joint. Upward row, lower. Knees are soft, not squatting or anything, just soft for safety. Kind of like shock absorbers. Belly is pulled intensely to your spine. Glutes are squeezed. Only have 12 seconds left. 10, eight, five, three, two, and one. We're gonna go on our side with a lighter weight. So just to look, you're gonna do a side lie, and it's what I call door openers. So those of you who know me know this term already. Join me on the side here with your elbow touching your hips and your ribs. Open the door. Leave the elbow in the hinge you just put it in. So the elbow does not move from those ribs. Keep going. I'm coming up here to show for those who might be new to it. There's no coming out like this with the elbow. The elbow touches the ribs. Two, and one. Stay right where you are, but straighten the arm. Lateral raise up, and down, up, and down. If you have a very heavy weight, maybe you need to bend the arm a lot to do this move. But if you have a lighter weight, it's a great move with the straighter arms. Your lighter weight might need to be the water bottle for a move like this. Three, two, and one. Pick up both of your original weights. I say original because I mean not the super light. We're gonna take our feet to a side, um, to a second position plie. Down, you're gonna come up and wrap the weights on your shoulders as you bend, and then press to shoulder press, bend, and come on down. Join me now, right away. Up and catch. Press up and catch. And down. Lift up and catch. Press up and catch it. It's good to bend your legs when you're catching above your shoulders because that helps take the compression out of your spine. Keeps it safer, right? Up, down. I'm so glad you all joined me today for this. Maybe for teaching the mornings. It's a different feeling to be doing it this time of day. It's really nice to see you. Some new faces for me. Eight, six, five. 
three, two, last one. You're going to the other side on those door openers. Keep that lighter weight. Lie it on your side. Remember to hinge that elbow in and don't let it leave your ribs. Just about four seconds. Two and one. So holding a water bottle or a can of beans will be fine here. Open and close. Close. Like a haunted door, right? Three. I'm going to count slow. Two. One more after this. And one. Now go to that straight arm. Lateral raise. Lift it up. Lower it down. Lift it up. Lower it down. 15 seconds. You're going to end up picking up both weights again. You've got six more seconds of this. Four. Bellies to spine. Two. And one. Beautiful. We're going to finish off those shoulders. Pick up your heavier weights. Whatever you would use for a shoulder press, you got eight more seconds. We're going to squat and press from the beginning. Weights are at the shoulders. You're going to squat and press right up, just like we did in the warm up, but without the pause. Let's go down, press up, butts back behind you, and up. Weight is in the heels when you squat. Take it up, down, and up. In five seconds, I'm going to change it to last one here. W's. Make a W shape with your arms and bounce it there. Small pulses. These should burn with time. In five, we're going to go back to presses, but no squat. Two, one, full range up and down. What if you're blind? Do one at a time and down or lighten your weight. I'm going to do both arms up. There's only seven seconds anyway. You can do anything for six seconds. Four, and it's water after this. Three, give me two more. Two, come on. And one. Bring it down. Set it down. Beautiful work. Got your shoulders and your rotators taken care of. Water rotators so that we avoid injury and the tiny, tiny little workings inside of our shoulder. You don't want to be getting all strong doing these presses and then suddenly lean back to pick up a tiny bag and have your shoulder go twinge. You got to get the little ones, the little movements. Good. All right. Abductors and adductors. So it's going to be a lot more lunge moves that are going to reach the outside and the inside of our legs. So for the first one, we're going to do a side lunge, do a curtsy lunge. I'm going to hold two weights. If you're feeling really tired or unsure, you can do it with no weights. The move's going to look like this. Side lunge, come together, curtsy lunge. So my foot's going kind of back and behind me. Let's start in five, four, Three, two, I'm doing all one side. So I'm taking my right leg out, coming up, right leg into the curtsy, coming up, right leg out, come on up, come on up. You're doing this the whole time. No surprises. Just remember, especially in that side lunge, think weight in the heel. Weight in that heel right now. Now weight in the front heel. Good. Weight in the front heel. Here, it's just to get your weight per foot. And down. 15 more seconds. And down. Belly to spine. Support your back. Even though I'm hinging forward a little, I'm staying tall on that side lunge. Six. Four. Three. Finish it. Two. And one. All right. We're taking this to the ground for a plank. If you need to double your mat up, that's an option. So that your elbow's happy. Elbow plank. From here, you're going to go lower, raise, and lift the top foot to get that outer muscle up. Three, two, let's go. Down, up, lift the top leg. What's an option if this is too hard? Same thing, but put your weight on the bottom knee. Down, up, lift the leg. Down, up, lift the leg. I'm going to go back to plank now, though. Down, up, lift. Beautiful. As you lift up, you're using the outer thigh of the bottom leg. As you kick up, you're using the outer thigh of the top leg. 15 seconds. Then we'll do the other side of those side lunge to curtsy. Eight, five, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Grab those weights if you were using them for the side lunge curtsy. Yeah, and up. 
work with what you have. Like for me, I don't have a ton of space here. So I turn a little bit. Three, two, go. Maybe you don't have the right weight. So maybe you tape a brick to something or use a book. Use what you have. Make it work. Five arms together. Curtsy. Belly all, always pull the spine. Weight in the front heel, back toe. Weight in the side heel. And back. Work at both sides of the leg on this, the inside and the outside. 10 seconds. Eight. Five. Three. Two. One. You're going back to that plank. Other side. Lower raise. Pick up the leg in seven. Five. Three. Two. Get there. And one. Drop down. Drop up. Lift that leg. Keep the toe down. Don't let the toe point to the ceiling. Point it toward the wall in front of you. Point it toward the computer, maybe. Point it at me. I know that can... For some, that's an offensive thing, but I'm saying, yes, point your feet at me. Don't let it point to the ceiling, because that will get you a whole different muscle. We've, the muscles we've already done. We need these side muscles. So lift your heel to the ceiling instead. 15 seconds. 12, nine, seven, five, four, three, two, one, good, quickly, come on up with me. Curtsy to curtsy, no side lunge. I'm using weights, not required. Seven seconds. This is the last combo move for the set. Three, and then it's water. Two, one. One curtsy, come together. Other curtsy, together. Now make sure you're 50% in each foot in that curtsy. So your back foot takes weight, yes. And as far as the front foot, most of the weight should be felt in the heel. Belly to spine. Knit those ribs together. 15 seconds. 13. 11. 7. 5. Three. Oh, I lied. There's more. There's 10 seconds. That was 13, not three. I'm so glad. I want to do a few more. The only dirty look I'd be able to see is Gordon's. Nobody else shows to show themselves. Two and one, but I'll imagine the dirty looks. Go ahead and set your weights down. Grab a sip of water. You're almost there, guys. So one of the muscles I seldom get to in my hip classes, because we're doing hip, with a little bit more plyo. I often miss the calves and the shins. We're gonna get those today. We got time for it. Grab your weights. Okay, my focus here is heel raises. So it's relevant. Right. Up, down, up, down, right? I'm gonna be adding to that tricep extension, lowering and up. If you don't want to add the arms to that, don't, because the main focus is those calves by raising the heels. So I won't be mad if you stick the arms. I won't see any left. Okay. Five seconds. Four, three. I just figure if we can get more, let's do it. And go. Down. Heel raise. Down. Heel raise. Knit those ribs together. Don't allow your body to arch just because you have something overhead. In fact, just the opposite. Because you have something overhead, make sure not to arch. Tricep, down. Tricep, down. Tricep. I'm trying to throw in a lot of the upper body sets today in this last couple of sections where we're doing lower body like calves. You got 15 seconds. The next move we're gonna do, I'm gonna be leaning against a wall. If you don't have a wall, I'll tell you what else you can do. Five, four, Three, two, and one. So I'm gonna add bicep curls, but that's not the focus. My focus 
against toe raises. I'm going to lean against the wall with my feet and put out. I'm going to keep my toes up and lower. Keep my toes. So if you can't see from far away, I'm just flexing and pointing. I'm pushing onto my heels. If you don't have a wall, then take one foot at a time and lift it up. Right? And then halfway through, I'll tell you, you can switch to the other leg. All right, I want you to reset the timer. You got five seconds. Find your wall if you have one. You got to put out from the wall. Two, go. Lift and lower. So lifting the toes. You want to skip the arms. I won't hold that against you. This one's about getting those front, the shins. Avoiding shin splints. Great for runners to practice this move. Kind of a forgotten muscle. Neglect it, right? Once your arms are tired, you can alternate one arm and the other. If you were doing the standing one without the wall, switch to the other foot. We only have 10 more seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Wide stance. We're going to go plie, come up, and lift those heels. So again, you're using the calves. So down, come up. If you want to add the arms with me, I'm going to do an upward, right, upward row at the top. Three, two, belly in, go. Plie, heels up, upward row if you want. Plie, heels up, row. Plie, up, row. Sometimes you might lose balance up there. Great. It's teaching your brain to respond in balance. Beautiful. It's making you stronger. Down. Up. Row if you want. Down. Up. Belly to spine. 16 seconds. Next move is kind of a toughie to show. Eight. Six. Four. Three. Two. Last one. If you have a surface you could sit on, like a chair, I'm going to show you a move. If you don't, you stick where the wall is. Same muscle we're working. If you have something you can sit on, I just have a step. I'm going to put the weight between my feet, and I'm going to pick my feet up and flex. Three, join me. Two, and one. Otherwise, lean against the wall. I get it. This is not a chair class. This is just if you happen to have something. Then bending and straightening those feet. Flexing, pointing. Flexing, pointing. Flexing, pointing. Almost there. If you are doing the sitting one, the boat added benefit is quads, is to keep holding those legs up. Fancy my timer. Eight seconds. Six, five, three, two, one. Pick up your weights. Join me. We're going to do reverse lunge, hinge, one row, come up, other leg. you got three seconds. Two is a break from those calves. Two and one. Take it down. One row. Bring it back up. Other leg. Down. One row. Bring it back up. Down. One row. Bring it up. Down. One row. Bring it up. Down. One row. Bring it up. Down. One Tighten that belly to your spine. Never make your spine do all the work. Hug it like a weight belt. 15 seconds. I just needed to make sure we got enough rows in today. Because you know what? We always remember to work the front that we can see in the mirror. But you got to remember the back. That's your posture. That's your health. That's your spine safety too. And one. Grab a sip of water. You're almost done. So stay with me. All right. We've passed the clock. We're just going to run through some quick basic strength, and then we're going to go to core. Just stand there with me with your weights. Lift one up for a bicep. Take it halfway down. Leave it there. Other arm up, down. Seven, six, five, four. Belly tight. Soft knees. Two, one. Now that arm comes halfway up, stays there. See how it's sticking out? This arm down, eight of those. Up, seven, 
six, one is isometric, five, one is moving, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna do some tricep push-ups because we just did biceps. I need a bigger mat for some of the floor work that's coming. Maybe you're on a carpet. Maybe you're fine. I'm just giving you fair warning. Tricep push-ups. So unlike a normal push-up where the elbows might come out, tricep comes right in. So you actually rub on your skin. All right. Four, three, two. Let's go. Squeeze the glutes. Down and up. Knees down as an option. Then up. Six. Five. Up. Squeeze the glutes. Four. Lift the belly to spine. Three. Don't sag. Two. One. Stay at the top. Squeeze the glutes. Squeeze the quads. Squeeze the belly. Widen the hands a little. Regular push-ups. The elbows can come out to the side. Ready? Go. Eight. Squeeze the glutes. Seven. Slow on the down. Pass on the up. Six. Slow on the down. Pass on the up. Five. Slow on the down. Four. You can go all four. Slow on the down. Three. Two. Last one. One. Find your plank. Hold it. Push with your heels. Pull your shoulders towards your butt. Squeeze your butt. Lift the belly to your spine. Hold four, three, two, and one. Beautiful work. Let's see how much time we have. I think we're going to go into our core work now. All right, we're going back to the 40 seconds up, 45 seconds on. First move is standing. I'm not going to get rid of my mat. It's pretty simple. We're coming down on our back. I'm just going to stand in front of it with one weight. I'm going to go into narrow stance with my legs. Remember when we warmed up with a narrow squat? You're going to take your weight, swing it to one side, swing it up on the other side. I'm twisting my body side to side to do that. But my legs are staying right where they are. Three, oh, I forgot to click the timer. Four, three, two, one. Swing down all the way up. Swing. I'm doing all one side right here. I'm not switching. I'm not alternating. Using the belly to lift it up. The up is the quick part. Pretty soon we're gonna switch to the other side. Five, three, two, last one on this side. Get ready, down the other way. Lift up, down and up. Use your belly to come up quick. 15, 14, up, up. Six seconds, four, two, last one, one, good. Breathe for a second. All right, similar, we're gonna keep swinging. I'm gonna hold that weight. I'm gonna swing, you can hold it either this way or this way, whatever feels right. Swing into a side lunge, swing it to the other side lunge. Notice my outside heel picks up, ready? Go, swing, drop, swing, drop. Use that belly, twist. The twist will happen on its own. You can use the belly to resist the twist on that downswing. Twenty-five seconds. Breathing. I'm not hinging. I'm staying tall. Ten seconds. Seven. Five, four, three, two, last one. So we're going to take it into a plank, setting the weight down, and now I'm going to go back. Full arm plank, check it out. I'm going to spidey one knee to stand elbow and back, and then I'm going to drop my hip and come back up. Then I'll do the other side in five, four, three, two, Right knee to right elbow, back to plank. Right hip to the floor, back up. Left knee to left elbow, back to plank. Left hip down, up. Right knee, right hip. Left knee, left hip. Belly to spine, right, right hip. Left, of course, your own pace. Left hip. 20 seconds, one down. And down. Just 13 seconds, you can do it. Hand down. Put your thigh. 
seven, five. We're gonna finish the left side. Four, three, two, hold the plane, three, two, squeeze the glutes, and one. Beautiful, taking it down to your belly. Just gonna follow along. Starting by putting your feet together and putting your feet on the ground. Push the toes down. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the quads, and try to lift the belly up so it arches from quads all the way to your ribs or all the way to your chest. Remember to squeeze in so hard, zipping your legs together, like so hard that they quiver. But pushing the toes down. Now lift up your shoulders and lift the hands off the ground. Back extension. But don't forget the squeeze in the legs and the pushing down of the toes. Lower and raise. Lower. Squeezing the legs together. Pushing the toes down. Come on, get a lot out of this. Don't lazy the legs. Squeezing the glutes. Just three, two, hold it up there. Four, three, squeeze the legs together. Two, and one. Good. Look it over on your back. One of my favorite moves, wiggles. If you guys were with me earlier this week, we did wiggles across the mat. This time we're going to wiggles in a circle. Take our feet together, hands behind the head, using our hips and shoulders to burn ourselves in a circle. 360, and then the other way. Keep it. Go ahead and do it. Don't wait for me any longer. Just pick up the hips, then the shoulders. Now, hopefully you've made it all the way around. Let's go the other way. Just be a child. Kids get strong by playing, and this feels an awful lot like a kid thing to do. So you're gonna get strong by playing. 10 seconds. Go whichever way you want. Four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna pick up one weight for this crunching move. If you're feeling like I don't use weights when I crunch, then don't use a weight. I'm just gonna sit all the way up. So I said crunch, but if you want to sit up. Push it all the way up and then roll down for three counts. Join me now. Fast up, slow on the down. Now, easier is way, way out in front of you. If that counterbalances you. If you want harder, keep the weight close to you as you roll down. Good. Fast on the up and down for three, two, one. Fast, fast on the up. How are you doing, Kristen, Maggie, Rush, Kendra, Peggy? An iPad. How are you doing, Gordon? This is the one time I can't see you. You're below your screen. 12 seconds. Fast on the up. Three, two, one. Last one up. Take it down slower. Four, three, two, one. Guess what? We're in our last hard move today. We're going to take our feet up in the air on our backs. I call it tabletop V ups, but it's a lot easier than a V up. And I'm going to leave my legs up there. I'm going to tap my heels and come down. But I want it to be kind of quick so you feel the burn. Three, two, go. And tap, down, tap, down, tap, down. This is your last move of the day. Exhale, exhale. You're one third done with this one. The last little bit, I may turn this into basic crunches. So just finish this out. In six, we're going to go to basic crunches to finish it up. Three, two, and one. Crunch it. That was my gift to you. And I might have to come all the way up for the entire time. But this is still hard. Five, four. Welcome back to the line of three, two, one. Get up. Exhale. Curve the back and roll down to finish this up. Four, three, two. Stretch it out long arms overhead. Feel down below. Stretch the arms up. Push the feet down away. Put the arms a little bit of inhale. The hard work is done. Exhale it out. Grab one leg. I'm taking my right leg in and giving it a hug. Now, if you have your own music playing, maybe since we're going into the stretch portion, maybe you want to change it to something softer, rotate that ankle. Maybe you don't want to. Rotate the other way. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you felt some heart rate and some strength. Straighten that leg. Ah, breathe. Feel the stretch in the back half of the leg. And you can hold on to your hamstrings or your calves, or you can hold on to the feet if you're particularly flexible. And just gently pull. But 
breathe so that wherever you feel that tightness, you almost imagine that your breath is being sent to that spot and telling the muscle that this is okay and to release. All right, take that foot, put it on the opposite quad. Flex the top foot to protect your knee. Reach through and grab that under leg. Gently pull towards yourself. Sometimes if I have my right knee out to the side, I'll use my right elbow and gently push against it to give it a little bit of twist. To never be to the point of pain. Tension, three, two, we're gonna switch legs. Hugging the left leg, rotating the ankle. Try to never skip your stretching. Somebody sent me a chat, I need to get up and take a look at it. Straighten that leg, hold it there. Breathe, keep my leg up there, holding behind the hands or holding behind the calf. Thanks, Maggie, I love what you said. I love the chicken butt. <laughs> All right, inhale, exhale, put that ankle on the opposite quad, let the arms through. Don't forget to flex that top foot. It will keep you safer. It'll keep your knee from getting too twisted. Three, four, three, two, right angle. You can take your hands and wave your hands while you rock yourself to standing. Once you get up there, split stance. Drop down with your body still tall. Squeezing, pushing your hips forward while you pull your belly button back. Take this top arm and pull it across so you're getting a shoulder stretch while you're stretching your hip flexors at the same time. So your arms are like this, pulling gently. Shoulders should be down away from your ears. Three, two, good. Stand it up. That back foot comes into your hand. If you need a wall to hold on to, you be the wall or grab one. That's fine. Pushing the hips forward. You get that extra stretch right here in the front of the leg. Three, two, good. Switch to the other leg, split stance. Drop down, tall body. Hips push forward, belly back. Arm crosses over in front. So you're getting your shoulder stretch. Good shoulder down away from the ear. We return to shoulders off and on throughout the day today. So make sure you get them stretched out. Three, two, one, good, take it off, back foot in your hand. Whatever you need with the other hand for balance. Hips push forward. Four, three, two, one, good. Just stand on both of your legs. Pat yourself on the back, you work so hard. Pull back. If it feels good, lean away from that. Nice, you're getting tricep stretch here. You did triceps a few times. Take it up, take that arm behind your back. Take your head toward the straight arm. Still pulling your belly in. Three, two, good. Pat yourself on the back of the other side. Pull back, get those triceps nice and tight. If it feels good, lean. So word is, take that arm behind. Lean your head toward the straight arm. Word is the schedule's gonna change a lot next week. Don't rely on memory for next week. Make sure to check the internet for what classes are available. Good, take it up. We got some biceps, thumbs together. Open out to the side, pull backward till you feel those biceps. If you don't feel them, try up, down. Try rotating the hands, find them. Good, inhale, exhale, lower the hands, inhale up. Almost done, take your hands to the quad, squat back, exhale. Neutral, drop one shoulder. I just wanna always finish with a little bit, bit of back stretching. Center it out, drop the other shoulder. Loved having you today. Center it out, roll it up, give me an inhale. Exhale, loved having you. There's only a few of you stayed for this. I wanted to just say, make sure to get a lot of water. And you've worked your muscles, you've got to feed them now. If you're trying to get stronger, even if you're trying to lose weight, starving isn't how you do it. Feeding your muscles is, because then your muscles learn how to eat, right? And then they eat fat. So take good care of yourself and do drink a whole lot of water after that workout. Love seeing every one of you. Make sure to check the schedule for next week. Bye, Gordon. And if you want to be ever doing one of these classes again, check YouTube because most of them do get recorded and reposted on the YouTube at parkerparksandrecreation.com or just look up Parker Parks and Recreation on the YouTube channel. I'm looking real quick at any chats to see if there's anything to respond to. Awesome, Mandy. From... Hey, in Arizona, iPad, that's great, hi. <laughs> oh, you were at HIT, good, I thought that was probably the same person. Thanks, Kendra, I loved having you for it. Nice, Rush, thank you, thank you, Peggy. All right, all of you, I'm gonna log out, it was wonderful to see you. If you have any suggestions for Parker Rec, let them know, they're open-minded, okay? Have a great one, Mwah.